on that. Well, if you have children or grandchildren at home this summer, here's a question to ponder. Do they need to get to Indian Lake this weekend or any other outdoor activities because they've been spending too much time sitting in front of their TV or maybe more likely too much time with their nose in front of their phones or other technology? One eye. One eye. All right. Well, in today's Lost Creek Care Center health segment, Clark Powell takes a look at ways to help technology addicted teens learn to balance, which is a key to better health. What's that? As a mother of six children ages 7 to 29, Don Heron has dealt for decades with the same issue. With their older kids, it was watching too much TV. Now, after school, they come home and to them, downtime is hopping on, you know, a tablet. And if it's a battle during the school year, skirmishes over screen time in the summertime can be all out war. Kids will be out of their routine and it could be really easy for families to fall into the trap of kids just wanting to be on their screen. So Dr. Jean Morjani of Arnold Palmer Hospital for Children in Orlando has some tips. First, she says, don't set time limits just to set them. It's not just the amount of time a child spends on a screen. We have to actually look at the context of what they're doing with those screens. Not all screen time is bad. There are some 80,000 educational apps that can help children maintain things like reading and math skills over the summer. But make sure you set up media free zones in your house, something the Herons insist on. No screen in the bed, um, no screens at dinner time. Um, screens are off when we say they're off. Um, and you know, if we ever have company over, uh, screens are off as well. Finally, if you don't want your kids to sit and look at a screen all day, give them something to do. A little planning now can go a long way for months to come. I keep them busy, and I think that's part of the key is to keep them exhausted, so to speak. Um, so they're, um, they do sports and camps. You can also set weekly goals like riding a bike so many miles or organizing backyard basketball tournaments because the more they do this, the less they do this. Even though kids may not act like it, they actually crave and they need those limits. At Arnold Palmer Hospital for Children in Orlando, this is Clark Powell reporting.